Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Technique Thursday. It's Lynn from Lot 95 Designs, and today I'm going to share with you another Bible page. Um, if you watched my last video, I was saying how as I design pages, I'm now going to put them up in the shop. I'm loving my Thrive Bible and the devotions, and I was in the book of Exodus with Moses and God, and their story is so incredible. And my favorite part is Moses saying, you know, God going, I'm going to do this. And Moses is like, God, no, listen. And you're like, do you really want to do that? I just think they have such a, a unique relationship. So I wanted to document that here in the Bible. And these graphics are from the colored create journal that just came out. So this is available in the shop and it looks funny because I put the PDF into my silhouette, traced and moved some things around so that I could use my new sticker paper. I talked about it in the last video, I'll mention it again. I bought the silhouette sticker paper. I was using Avery and the Avery, I wish I could like show you the difference. The Avery is so thin. And this is a nice, thick, sturdy cardstock. I, I really love it. So to get started, I think um, I prepped my page like in the last video with some Triarts clear gesso. So that this page is ready to go. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a pink background in here. I'm just feeling pink today. And my Neo colors, oh my gosh, funnest thing ever. I discovered these crayons about a year ago. And I tell you, I've had them over a year and a half. And this is what my crayons still look like. Like the whole pack, I'm going to grab them. Some of them broke, but these will last me, I think, the rest of my life. I love them. They're awesome for backgrounds. They're very affordable. I bought the little pack of 15. You don't need to buy this crazy big pack, but I love them so much and they went on a sale, um, I think at my art store. And so I, I was out at the lake and I phoned Ryan. I'm like, can you, can you run down to Delta Art? Ryan, Ryan, I need these, these crayons. And he's like, mom. But when he was in university, he had this awesome discount at the art store for being a student. So I got him to always pick me up stuff. I know he loved doing it. Now I think I know why he moved. Because I was like, Ryan, can you go to the art store? Ryan, can you do this? And the other day in the group, I was talking about Ryan and how I use his Amazon Prime as well. He was a student. He got a really good discount on Amazon Prime. So I would, I use his account. So then he'd get all these emails, especially when like I'm on holidays or something and I'm taking time off and I'm just hanging out and Ryan will get all these emails that mom's ordering all kinds of goodies. When I started Bible journaling, oh my gosh, I have so many, so many things. And some things like I bought the, the some of the Tombow markers and the Zig Clean color markers. And my sister uses them a lot on her backgrounds and I haven't used mine uh, in a few months and I really should do something with it like I really should I'm scared they're gonna dry up so some pink and I'm not sure what else I could throw in here maybe a little bit of yellow just for color I know it kind of looks like the background from the last one I must be on a pink and yellow streak but I was so excited to show you guys these pages I had um, done one page and a few of you had asked for the graphics so that's up in the shop as well I you know I buy graphics or get you know have somebody I collaborate with on a journal and that one was Cherry from Cherry's Fine Arts and she's on Etsy we'll leave you a link and when I wrote to Sherry I said you know oh everybody just loves this and, and can I you know, just keep using your graphics. And she's so beautiful. And she's like, of course, you can keep using my graphics. And she's an amazing person. We have a really cool friendship now from collaborating on a journal. I think it was the Peace Journal. I'm liking the pink yellow. Maybe it needs some dark, but I do have some black polka dots, right? 
I think it was Sherry in our group. She says we should have a polka dot day in Praise and Pray where we all have to do a page with polka dots. Is that genius or what? I think that would be just a really cool idea. And speaking of Praise and Pray, how are you doing? What's going on in Praise and Pray today? There's got to be something happening. You know there is. Share. What's the scoop today? Who's having lunch with me or coffee? I need to know. Maybe a little bit of blue or turquoise or... I'm feeling something else, but maybe I'll wait till we get this down. So, um, again, this is from the book of Exodus, the story of Noah, Noah Moses. And I so enjoyed it, I couldn't stop reading it. I just think... His story is so fascinating and how he followed God and did what God told him to do and to think. He went up to Mount Sinai and came back with the Ten Commandments. I mean, first he shattered all those tablets and him and God did it again. Wow. Wow. Could you imagine God saying, hey, Lynn, you want to come up the mountain and we're going to write commandments for all of mankind? Wow. That just blows me away. And um, sorry, back to the stickers. This is just one big sticker. I thought it was just easier to combine them all than to try to layer all these stickers in my Bible. So, and I love this Thrive Bible because the margins are 2.75. 2.75, yeah. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. So you get that little bit of extra room. And again, this is my journaling Bible, so it's not a Bible that I'm using to read out of. Well, no, I'm not going to say that. After I read on it, I do a page. That's what I wanted to say. And so as I go, I, I just stop and I say, oh my gosh, I got to go do that. That looks, uh, that just speaks to me. When God said to Moses, I know you by name. I'm like, wow, you know, God knows him and God's talking to him. Amazing. I got little glue doodads on here. Okay, I'll start with the no part and then we'll know where the eye goes. See, we'll put the eye right there. I know, you're thinking polka dots. Does she ever do anything without a polka dot? Not really. Like, no, not really. I'm just addicted to them. I don't even know where this cute thing got to me from. I just, uh, I'm loving cutesy and I love doing stickers in the Bible. Wow. You're all laughing at me, I know. You'd, you'd really have to know me to know that I, everything was in browns and grays and angels in chains and very deep thoughts and this is I'm trying to relax a bit oh yeah mm -hmm. see how we put the stickers on Lynn's talking and you're all going no stop you did the wrong word this is why I don't do Bible page videos no I'm just kidding I know you so this is quick and I like the idea of doing this all in one border so that I didn't have to, you know, fuss and layer and layer and layer. And then there's some extra elements on the sheet for you to use wherever. Maybe you want to use them all on here. You can. Sorry, I think I'm getting a little bit of a cold. <clears throat> I don't exactly know where I want to put this so I should draw these things out but I don't I figure that as I'm creating God's working through me and wherever it lands up that's where it's supposed to be I don't stress too much about art dum -da -dum. all right so what's new today not much new in my world and sorry for the shadows but you know what it has been gloomy here for about a week so I'm trying to shoot you know videos and it's so 
dingy and gray and cloudy and not liking it at all. Like, look at this. Do you see how easy this peels off and it doesn't cut into the backing? This is the most amazing sticker paper ever. Why didn't I buy this? I've had my Cameo for probably three years. Why did I not try this before? I don't know. It's Margaret's fault. It's Margaret and her cricket. Yep, I'm blaming it all on her. Sure am. Oh, that's a lovely page. Now, where are we going to put some of these? Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm going to add these extra ones or not. And I like my, even my Bible tabs. Okay, get this. My Bible tabs in my other Bibles are all browns and, and things like that. And look at these ones. Pink and yellow polka dots. I know, a little bit curry curry. But I love having like big tabs and fun things in my Bible. And I'll make a little tag for the back of that. So I don't know if I want it there or maybe over here. Ugh. You know what I do find is with the watercolor, stickers do come off if you want to remove them. So you can remove them. What do you guys think over here or over there? If we can't decide, put it back. We'll figure it out in a minute. We'll just put it back on there. And I'm going to put in some of these little polka dots because I think they're just adorable. And why do I only have one black polka dot? I don't know. Because why not, right? I like these little polka dots. I made them in the colors of the flowers so that we can, that everything's matchy matchy, because I love matchy matchy. And a big yellow one maybe. I don't know, I just needed something to fill the page so I went, I want polka dots. Like actual polka dots. Now I can't stop. I think I'm gonna make a whole sheet of them. You guys would laugh at me, wouldn't you, if I had just a whole sheet of circles with dots on them. I think I need to print more. Look, I almost used them all up. Or I can put these two into the Create Journal. That's a good idea. I might just put these right into the colored journal. That'll be fun. So anyways, this is my page. I'm still gonna play with this. I don't know if I like it here. Oh, no, I've decided. It is gonna go right here. So, fun easy page. You can add more stickers if you want or not. I'm thinking these might, might just layer a few down here. I like to hang on to you guys. I don't wanna let you go yet. I just wanna chill with you for a while. My videos are so short, I don't, get a chance to, you know, talk. And I'm sure you're just so curious about my day because it's so fascinating. Not really, not at all actually. There, and maybe one little one, this color right here. Oh, but that really covers things up, doesn't it? It's too big. So we'll leave that one off. We'll just do two. Or maybe I'll just cut it down a bit. Yeah, I think maybe I'll do that. Let's grab the handy dandy Margaret scissors. And we're gonna attempt to make a circle. I don't know why I can't cut a circle. Does anybody else have a problem cutting a circle? Like how hard can a circle be, right? See, mine never looks like a circle. Kinda looks like a oval something or other. But, haha, the flower fits now, so we're all good. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, have a blessed day. I know I'll see you guys in Praise and Pray. I hope you are enjoying the, the Bible page kits. There's quite a few in the shop. And as I go on, there'll be more. God bless. Have an awesome day. And I'll see you in Praise and Pray. Bye-bye.